What is up guys, Tim Murray here. This is the first video of a series of tutorials that I'll be releasing every so often. These tutorials will cover things like Launchpad, MIDI Fighter and Ableton Push, tips and tricks, some of my guitar and bass setup, and anything that you guys suggest in the comments below. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your MIDI Fighter for custom light shows in Ableton. For this, you'll need a DJ Tech Tools MIDI Fighter, any version of Ableton Live, and the MIDI Fighter Utility Program. Firstly, we need to open up the MIDI Fighter Utility window. This is where you can make many changes to the settings of your MIDI Fighter. The settings I use are as follows. Software mode is set to Ableton. Button pitch and spark animations are turned off. Spark is an important one for custom light shows, as the animation will conflict with your custom light show. I leave Edge Tilt on because I don't very often tilt my MIDI fighter while playing, and if I do, it's usually when I'm holding one or two buttons down. So I can just make the lights for those buttons minimal or non-existent. All of the default light colors that are edited on the right panel are all set to black. Once again, this is due to the light show conflicting with it. And lastly, the sleep timer gets set lower, only because I find the little rainbow effect kinda cool. When in the MIDI fighter utility window, be sure to note what your MIDI channel setting is. This will be important later on. By default, it is set to channel 3, and I will be using channel 3 for this tutorial. Now it is time to open up Ableton Live. Firstly, you will need to enter Ableton's Preferences window. Do this by going to Preferences in the drop down menu, or by pressing Control comma on a PC, or Command comma on a Mac. Then, navigate to the MIDI and Sync tab. In the MIDI port section, turn on Track for both the input and the output of the MIDI fighter. This will allow us to receive MIDI data from the MIDI fighter, and also to send data back to the unit. I also turn on remote for parameter mapping, but it is not necessary for making light shows. Now, you'll need to set up a MIDI track. Be sure that you can see the input and output section, which can be opened using this I.O. button. Now, the MIDI from needs to be set to MIDI Fighter 3D. Then, MIDI 2 needs to be set to MIDI Fighter 3D as well. This sends MIDI information back to the unit, which will be shown as lights. Now below that, a box will be set to channel 1, which does not match the MIDI channel that we had selected in the MIDI Fighter utility window earlier so this will be changed to channel 3. Now, we don't need to record the MIDI for this track because it is purely for playback and live purposes. So rather than record arming the track for monitoring, or in this case to display the light show, we can just set the monitoring for this track to in. Now the track is all set up for your light show. I'll quickly tell you that placing any effect from the MIDI effects category will change what is displayed on the MIDI fighter. For example, velocity will change the color of the light, pitch will move the light around, chord will display multiple lights with one button press, and note length will change how long the light is displayed. I will definitely go more in depth on the topic in a later video, but for now I will leave it at that. So thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, covers, originals and more. Be sure to like this comment... That's not right. So thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, originals, covers and more. Be sure to write down in the comments any requests for tutorials if you have any. Be sure to like this tutorial if it was helpful. And as always, have a wonderful day. Timmy out.